Hey guys, today I will be sharing with you what is so special about these little spot shops. So, let's jump right in. So first of all, as you can see, I have a mixture of customized and not customized little spot shops in this small group. So, today I'm going to show you what makes all these little spot shops connected. So the first one that I want to show you is this one, and it is connected to this little guy. And I know it's not quite the best matchup, but I just didn't really feel like customizing a giraffe, and he's close enough for me. So that's this one. Next up for this little guy, we've got this one. And uh, I did not customize this one to match this caterpillar either, and I know this is actually supposed to be a little spot shop inchworm, but I didn't know that at the time. I think he matches well enough because he's not really um, a super main character, so it doesn't really matter if he doesn't match up perfectly. Next, for this one, we've got this one. Uh, I don't know how well it's really showing on the camera, but he does have a different color uh, around here, which I kind of... Uh, wasn't really referencing him very well whenever I was picking the color because he does have a much darker patch around his face than this um, stuffed animal does, but his overall body color matches pretty well, and I've done the darker colors for his paws and his uh, tail and his ears and the little stripe on his face. So you can see this um, stuffed animal has kind of greenish, bluish eyes, and I just left the original green eyes on this little spot shop. And the next one to match is this one, who matches this one. Oh my goodness, she's got such crazy looking fur. So this is a Persian cat, um, but this, I don't, this isn't really a Persian cat. I like this little spot shop for her better because she's supposed to be kind of a kid, and to me the Persian cats always look like a mom or a teacher or um, like a nurse or something. So I think that this one, standing up on all four paws, looks really good. And um, this stuffed animal has blue eyes and this cat already has blue eyes. The next match we have is for this little guy and he is supposed to match this guy. Uh, if you couldn't tell, this is my main character so he's very worn out. Um, and he's just uh, like a orange tabby, so I thought that this little pet shop would match him really well because he is also an orange tabby. Next one we've got is this one, who matches this guy. And I think that this is a really good match because this little pet shop is already sitting down, just like this bear is, and I've painted his his face to match that one's face. I painted the inside of his ears to match the lighter blue inside of his ears. I do think the blues match up pretty well. I mean, if this guy wasn't so, you know, dirty, he would probably actually be these colors. And I painted his, uh, his little toes to match the little feet here. And I think it's a pretty good match because he's already sitting down just like this guy. The next match I have is for this guy. And that's his match. Now, I originally wanted to do a Littlest Pet Shop um, Cocker Spaniel to match this little, uh, this little webkin stuffed animal. Um, but I already had this one lying around, and it was from the blind bag, so it already had some weird looking eyes, so I knew I was going to customize it eventually. So I just decided to make him be a Irish setter. So since there's no little Pet Shop Irish setter, I just painted him red, just like this guy. And they've got the fluffy chest that matches, they've got the fluffy ears that match, and their tails are both fluffy, so I think that he's a pretty good match and I, I don't think this little this little guy has blue eyes in fact I think they're brown but I like the way that the blue eyes look on this guy and their black noses that match too. The next match was a little bit harder. This butterfly is actually customized to match this dragon. So um, 
As you can see on this butterfly, I have painted this metallic pink for the chest and the little pet shop had blue eyes already just like this stuffed animal has blue eyes so I just left the blue eyes um, for the ears which this little pet shop obviously doesn't have I just painted the little ends of her antenna to be the metallic pink color just like this is sort of shiny and stuff then this is kind of supposed to match with this color part right here You've got her little toes that also match. Um, they're metallic pink, just like they are right here. And then her wings, I think I did a pretty good job with this pink color that you see just around there. It's supposed to match this color. Um, and then it's this metallic part is kind of because her wings have a little bit of sparkle to them. And then underneath, they are silver, so I did the little silver designs inside of her wings for the little design parts. So um, I like the way that she is a customized butterfly rather than a dragon because I like the little special butterfly better for her anyway because it kind of matches her personality a little bit better. And the last custom matchup is this one who is matched with this guy. And I think I actually had someone in my customs video say that they had a stuffed animal that looked just like this guy, so maybe this is it. Um, as you can see, I've matched up his little ears that are green. I've matched up his nose just a little bit. He doesn't have quite as big of a nose as this guy. And then I've matched his toes and his paws up, and the purple stripes all along his body are a match. And um, I picked this pet as a base pet rather than a regular short hair cat because I think that this um, this little look on his face just kind of matches the personality a little bit better. And plus he was already white all the way around to begin with, so that was helpful. And he's supposed to be a guy, and I don't know, short hair cats just, they never look like a guy to me. So I think that this guy is a perfect match for this um, stuffed animal and his character. I've got a series planned out because all the stuffed animals that I've just shown you are characters that I have developed a lot over the past years. Since the Littlest Pet Shop videos are way more common and popular and honestly easier to film than stuffed animal videos, I decided that if there was just a way that I could get these stuffed animals to be Littlest Pet Shops, I could make lots and lots and lots of videos with them. So that's what inspired me to make those customs was the fact that if I could get little pet shop versions of the stuffed animal characters that I've had for a while, I could easily make lots of really cool videos with some pretty developed characters. So you'll probably see a lot of those customs in some future videos. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed and have a great rest of your day.